Okay, so thanks to a radio station in Alberta, I got right back into Mariana's trench. Yes, I was a trencher and still am. And I make videos for fun. So, why not combine both of them together? Oh, we are about to get serious. So, in this video, I'm gonna be ranking every single Mariana Strange music video. However, I have to make some ground rules. 1. No live performances. 2. No montage video. 3. No lyric video. So, let's start with the first video. Say anything. First music video for the band and it's fun to watch. No link to the song though, which will be a recurring theme throughout their career. Each member has a secret talent and a mole is getting the word out. It is a great intro to the band and what you're getting into. Babyface Josh Lal. I would like the band to rewatch and comment on it or just redo the video itself. Like say anything 20 years later. One flaw though, the plot twist is not surprising because we know who the mole is from the start. Sorry. For a band whose debut video, pretty decent quality, especially in the bridge. Decided to break it. Second single off the album and still a music video with no link to the song. We have some special guests here which makes me replay it for a fun laugh. Also, do not attempt these actions at home, these people are professional. The intro was repeated at least 100 times before I could watch the whole thing. I have to say that Mariana's Trench always dedicated their effort and time when making a project. All the blood, sweat and eggs. <laughs> Shake Tramp Last video off the debut album and the jumpstart they needed from radio and much music. Again, no link to the song, but the comedy here is at its peak, Josh's dancing and cameos of the other members and their friends. Also, no one got paid to be in the music video according to the members. It is the birthplace of some inside jokes and people that will be referenced later on. The Bohemian Rhapsody tribute at the beginning is splendid. Little cameo from Josh's dad as the fruit vendor which is sweet to notice. Cross my heart. Comeback album so new era. And boy did we hit a jackpot. Still a campy video, but the song links up well with the images. Now my question is. Where can I find her headphones? Like she can't hear the music, the circus, nothing. How? How? The performance sequence is cool to watch, especially when you know there are trenchers in the audience. This is the stereotypical 2009 Canadian music video. All to myself. I love the concept. A boy and a girl are not meant to be according to life. The boss being naggy AF. I adore this guy, he's so funny, the separation in different booths, Ian's performance. Seriously, he and his hair are the protagonists here. But I still have a major crush on nerdy Joshua also, the first time I noticed his height. Like holy crap. The ending is corny but adorable as fuck. The boss got what he deserved lol. Beside you. What? The. Fuck. Is. This. Never understood the music video. Even the members don't know what the hell is going on. The orchestra sequence is beautiful, but Josh, stop making IT look like you're fucking the piano. I would rarely watch the music video and later on, the song itself. I totally forgot about the song, especially with the fact that this album is 10 plus years old. God I feel old. Side note, I had a major. I mean major crush on Josh so any girl being close to him was infuriating to me. I didn't understand love songs and the tender scenes. Now, as an adult and being engaged to the love of my life, I understand that he has a life as well. <laughs> Celebrity status. The video that made me discover the band. The Paul McGranite joke never got old. The parodies are on point. I don't know if it makes sense with its lyrics, I mean you're so into the visual that you forget about the lyrics itself. The making of is also one of my favorite. That is also when I found out that blued hair was hot. This was on repeat every. Single. Day. If you want to introduce Mariana's Trench to a new fan, this is a good start. 
The song is great, you learn about the humor of the band and there are great visuals. Always been a favorite of mine, what can I say? It's perfect? Good to you, featuring Jessica Lee. Last music video off the album and pretty on theme here. Great performance from Jessica Lee, this was her first music video. Wished for a happy ending. Josh is adorable AF here, not the best acting lol. I mean, he will get better. Don't understand the fight scene but it's still pretty cool to watch. The slow-mo bottle hit was super but his hit. WTF. Anyway, nice video. Haven't had enough. Finally. When the teaser video came out, I was so impatient. New girl, new era, new sound. I'm all in. Jumping through time is such a good idea. You can get very creative. Side note, what age are the extras? Because them pretending to get drunk and cuddling shirtless Matt is weird. There are so many funny parts, Matt Scun and Ian's monkey in the pirate scene, Josh's rejection in the 50s diner, the toy scene. Some were realistic, others were an okay effort. Love the plot twist at the end. Fact, I was a Josh in a toy box on Halloween 2012. Not my best costume, but a good effort. I would rarely skip this song or its music video when on a playlist. Fine, but what about Fallout. Oh boy. I need a minute. Okay. I have not watched this video since its release. No joke. Why? It is awkward AF but because I need to be equal with everything, I had to watch it. Not my favorite video, but I understand the effort. I like the fact that this song is 100% the same as the lyrics. It is the actual narrative. But it is still awkward. I think it's the pink belt lol. No seriously, it's the love making scene. Oh boy. Also, Josh's face during the explosions. Dude. But the filter in the video is so pretty. Hats off to Darla. She is such a great actress. Like damn. Chaotic video if I had to summarize it. Who the fuck is the guy at the end? Desperate measures. I like the music video. Again, the collision of ideas fits the song so well. Fun moments here and there. One underrated is the bridge. I always laugh when thinking about it. The budget is amazing. I remember watching it premiere on Much and my mother bickering in the background. Not a fun time. But this was the best idea for this song. Still a favorite. Favorite moment, the boy band scene. I would pay lots of money to see that boy band in concert. Also, Josh's acting is getting better. I mean the ribbon scene just touched me, I cried a tear. Fun fact, when looking into Darla's eyes before the cowboy scene, you can see axes in her eyes which can be translated to wanting death on a person. Literally a voodoo concept. Stutter. I haven't watched this music video that much, I only remember an Amy Vice's cameo. So, this is the sore thumb of the era. This is the only music video where the character of Porcelain is included which makes so much sense in the story. The dancing is not as bad as what Josh jokes about. Love the seizure dance. But wait. Carolina is back. Why? If it's like haven't had enough, it is not well executed. And why is everyone punching each other? Who fucked up? Carolina and she's now mad. Like what? You should know me by now. By now. I didn't like the music video when it premiered. But now, it is a favorite. The cinematography is marvelous and the story now makes sense. Love Darla and Josh's chemistry which is at its highest. This is a couple who are living life with all its ups and downs. The other members are a key part of the plot instead of being just in the background. I can actually get into the story and understand it on the first watch. It is the last music video for Ever After and it is a perfect ending. Side note, I'm kinda sad that the storyline of the album does not follow in the music videos. Especially between Stutter and By Now. There is a major chunk missing. So, now with momentum, go stop! And bring the beat back. It's Pop 101. First music video since ever after. The music video is only related to the song and not a full album, just like the next song on the list. 
So Pop 101 is a summary of every single mainstream pop song with all of its cliches. I feel bad for Ian who had to play with the hay instead of playing an instrument. I am a bit disgusted with the music video. The Naked Girls, the Robin Thicke parody, all the partying. It is a parody so I'll let it pass. And Amy's presence was fun to watch. Not the twerking. Don't know how to feel about the guys in the dance-off. Here's to the zeros. Ian's time to shine. No, seriously. The parody of children shows with the seriousness of the lyrics is such an interesting pairing. It's the band's personality that I love, funny and entertaining. Also, Josh's portrayal of Mr. Rogers is spot on. Then again, it's just Mariana's trench at its best. I prefer them in flashy colors. Shit did disappear. No. One love. I used to like this song. Then the video came out. I said I liked Mariana's trench in flashy colors. This is not it. First of all, this should have not been an official single. It's generic as fuck. I'm a wildfire girl. One Love Music video is awkward, there is no connection. Mike is awkward, Matt is awkward. Ian is playing drums. And Josh is Joshua that's it. This is like Fallout 2.0 and I'm not okay with it. Sorry. Happy note, the making of is funny F. Go watch it please. But that's not what I came for, my armor. I hate you admit it but I miss the war. This means war. This is a bit better than its predecessor but it's not my favorite video. The story is still fitting, especially when the album is 80s themed. The execution could have been better. Actually no. There are dancers who were awesome and then you have Mariana Trench. Poor Mike though lol. I think the fact that it goes so fast that your eyes don't have time to register who is winning. Every single chorus is a fight scene. My eyes are just gonna hurt at the end of me viewing this. One thing I like is the flashy colors around the dull background. Nice touch. Well I've been deep in this sleeplessness I don't know why Just can't get away from myself Who do you love? This song is one of my favorites and the idea behind its music video is just pure. Also, lots of dogs which is never a bad thing. I cried a tear when seeing the guy's families, especially Josh's mother. Who does not like people doing good actions towards their community. You know the guys are amazing and this is just a great example. A fever blur. Astoria. The last music video from Astoria. If you want to understand the concept, this is it. They end their music video run for the album with the first track off the album. I don't remember anything from it except the ending and the club scene. Oh my. A lot happens. The cinematography is so beautiful. It's a great conclusion. Wanna go but I wouldn't. Wanna stay when I shouldn't. I wanna say no when I couldn't. So meet me in the dark. Rhythm of your heart. This is another single music video. I have to say that the band evolved beautifully up to this point. This is just the band performing the song, which is much appreciated. The set is beautiful, also 80s oriented. The song is catchy in the right mindset. Not bad. Can we talk about Josh's fashion here? Not the biggest fan of blonde hair or long hair Josh, but this is a great combination. I think they needed this segue to Phantoms to get all the 80s out of their system. I've been loving, loving you too long to just sudden, suddenly move on from I knew you when. Blue hair Josh is back, but Ian's sideburns are getting thicker lol. I don't hate the idea of dancers being incorporated when you know none of the members can dance according to them. The set, especially the living room, is beautiful to look at and the idea of getting all the members doing a sequence is interesting. I'll watch this from time to time. It is a great song. Glimmer. OMG this is just creepy AF but the aesthetic is just chef's kiss. Like I was saying, Josh's acting is getting better. However, if you hate jump scares, don't watch the making of. A little downside for the music video is the darkness. I can't actually see certain scenes. I like the chemistry between Josh and the actress. The ending broke my heart. I tell myself that I self did I, I could do, do it. 
Don't miss me? Puppies. What more can I say? It's always a go-to song and video. Only the Lonely Survive. Last music video as of 2022. It's a collaboration with Trenchers due to COVID-19. Not a bad idea. Creativity is nice. You also get to see the daily life of each member, including Amanda, Josh's wife. Finally a happy ending, so, how will I do the final ranking? The easiest for me to do it is on how many times the music video is skippable. So, here we go, 24. One love. 23. Pop 101. 22. Beside you. 21. Good to you. 20. Stutter. 19. This means war. 18. Fallout. 17. Only the lonely survive. 16. Cross my heart. 15. Say anything. 14. Shake tramp. 13. Decided to break it. 12. I knew you when. 11. Here's to the zeros. 10. Rhythm of your heart. 9. Astoria. 8. Desperate measures. 7. All to myself. 6. Celebrity status. 5. Glimmer. 4. By now. 3. Haven't had enough. 2. Who do you love? 1. Don't miss me. And here you have it. My final ranking of Mariana's Trench music videos. To be honest here, I could change the list next week because my preferences change every 10 minutes. Anyways, what do you think? How would you rank the videos? In the meantime, I am working on more videos of the band like compilations and rankings. Thanks for watching. Kiss me just once, like these are desperate